Uh, Donald Trump is very clear about his intentions in the Middle East. Um, he's not one of those guys who sugarcoats it. Well, we're here to bring liberation to the Iraqi people. Operation Liberation has been nah, liberation, democracy, yada yada yada, protect Israel, whatever it is. No, nah, not interested. Here's what Donald Trump is interested in: the oil, and he doesn't miss his words. Serious. Kim, yeah. you'd step up the campaign against ISIS, even though you believe that Vladimir Putin is getting stuck in a quagmire by going in. Well, I'm not looking to quagmire. I'm looking to take the oil. I want to take the oil. I want the oil. And I've been saying that for a long time. The Middle East is one big fat quagmire. I'm all for Russia going in and knocking and dropping bombs on ISIS. As far as I'm concerned, we don't have to have exclusivity on that. But we're going to have to do something about ISIS, and we're going to have to do something about what's going on over there. That was one of the funniest things I've ever seen. <laughs> no, no, George, O I L. The oil. What part of this is unclear? I'm going to go in there, take it, put it in my pocket. Okay. I drink their milkshake. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, no. Yeah, oh, Syria, Iraq, and geopolitical stability. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Now, wait. You said Russia would be going into a quagmire if they keep bombing, but you want to do bombing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to get into the quagmire. I'm just going to go and strategically steal the oil and come out. O I L. Was I not clear enough? Now, of course, that's a preposterous way of thinking. It's childlike in its simplicity, as, as usual, Donald Trump. First of all, Russia does not appear to be bombing ISIS. That's their cover story. In fact, they're helping to uh, keep Bashar Assad in power. If he was in power in Syria and regained control of all of its territory, well, then ISIS wouldn't have the oil. Syria would have the oil. So you'd have to steal it from the Syrians. Now, there's a portion of Iraq that ISIS has under control. Again, if you help to defeat ISIS, that doesn't become the 51st state. That then becomes part of Iraq, as it always has been, at least as long as Iraq's been around. So then you'd have to go and take a, up a new fight with the Iraqi government. Oh, remember how I helped you bomb ISIS? Now I'm going to take your oil for that. My guess is that they would disagree. <laughs> okay. God, what, what a child. What a child. But at least he's direct. And there's a lot of people that this is going to appeal to. They're going to look at this and go, yeah, wait a minute. Now, I don't care about liberating Iraqis, <laughs> Syrians. I don't know what to liberate them from. Where the hell are they anyway? No, I want the oil, Lebowski. And this is their guy. For the simpletons in our country, and there is some significant percentage of them, they hear that and they're like, finally, man, it's being truth to power. We go in there, we bomb the crap out of them, we kill them all. There's no boots on the ground. How that happens, I don't know. Don't we need some brutes to at least put some drills in so we can drink their milkshake? <laughs> okay. Somehow, magically, there's no quagmire, there's no boots on the ground, we bomb the hell out of everybody, then we just take the oil and put it in our pocket and come back home. Well, if that's what you want, I guess Donald Trump's your candidate. He's not going to be able to get that done. I mean, if you ask him about specifics, you know what he says? I will be very, very strong in how I deal with this. That's a direct quote. Oh, that answers it. <laughs> Who's stupid enough to believe this guy? Uh, dude, but Donald, how are you going to pay for the whole thing? I'm going to make the Mexicans pay for our bombing of Iraq and Syria. Then I'm going to take the oil. Who's going to transport it? The Norwegians. I'm going to make them do it by being strong. <laughs>